Today, to celebrate Halloween, I'm going to actually build a tarantula terrarium out of a pumpkin. <laughs> yeah. yeah, state record by over 400 pounds. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! What in the world is this? I said to get a pumpkin. 300 pounds. How'd you get it in here? Forklift. <laughs> yeah! Forklift. I don't have a forklift. We are the forklift. No, you said that we had a forklift. I thought Dan had a forklift. Connie, can you get this out for us? Yeah. This is the biggest pumpkin I've ever messed with. Good job, guys. We took the smallest pumpkin. Guess how big the biggest one was? 1,852 pounds. State record by over 400 pounds. Shut what? up. 1, All I wanted was a little pumpkin. It's a little tarantula. This is what you got. Now that we have this ginormous pumpkin, what we're gonna need to do is obviously cut the top off and get all the gunk out. The fact that it's got a flat front is pretty cool. I'm thinking the viewing panel is gonna be something like right in here, like this, and that's where the tarantula's gonna go. What we're gonna need is acrylic for to build the enclosure. And of course, acrylic for building the enclosure. We're gonna need to clean this pumpkin out. And then we're gonna need bedding, which we already have. And also we're gonna need a light to actually light this up at night. Need some lights for the top, so it goes on here. Just punch this, just punch this, and should light it up. So I'm gonna let the boys get all the gunk outside, and I'm going off to Home Depot. And in order to do that, we need... Who gave him the power to? Oh, okay, go! so good. Oh look at my thing. god! How big Whoa. those are. They look wow. like nards. Did you guys know that these seats can cost like $10 a piece? I'm rich! <laughs> I can hear the ocean. Whoa! That's crazy. <laughs> Do a ah. growly thing. Ah. He's gonna start doing push-ups in a second. Are you ready for this scoop? Oh, hold it off. Whoa! Oh my God! Beat that, Beat Noah. I feel so close with you guys. Scoop. Yes. No! Day. You're gonna have to shower me now. I think we need some help. I got an idea. Mr. Brian? Brillo? Yeah. This is gonna be so much fun. And <laughs> we all know how much Brillo loves digging through pumpkins, right? You ready to have some fun? These guys need some help. Go ahead, it, Brillo. Dig, buddy, dig. Guys, it's... I thought we were making a tarantula enclosure. I thought he was gonna start digging. Those are, those are expensive seeds. Jalen, you ever seen pumpkin farming like this? God, Michael! You got it, Dad. Come on, Dad. Now the fun part. We're gonna make the front window. Wow. Let's take a look at the window. <laughs> Yo, I, what kind of obtuse did you make? Look at that. A little bit, bit larger, don't you think, Dad? This side's longer than this <laughs> Like side. this. I think you need to go up more and over more. So this is what I'm thinking. Hey, Mr. Brian, quick question for uh, you. It's not Mr. Brian anymore. It is Lord Brian. So from now on, you can refer to me as Lord Brian. Thank you for established title for sponsoring this video. He, 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 Lord Brian Bodcheck. There's a tradition in Scotland where if you're a landowner, you could be a lord or you could be a later. Lord Brian Bodcheck, how is that? With established titles, you can actually be a landowner for at least one square foot in Scotland. Is this about a square foot? A little bigger than that. And because of that, you could become a lord or a lady. I've always wanted to be a lord. Now I am a lord. And what's really cool is that it's actually helping them preserve the woodlands of Scotland. Not to mention, with every order of your square foot, they're going to actually plant a tree to help reforestation. We're working with partners like One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future. And believe it or not, you can actually put Lord Brian Bartrick on a credit card, or whatever your name is, obviously. You can put it on a plane ticket. You can actually use it. I am a lord. Lord Brian Bartrick right now. Oh, oh lord. lord. And guess what? The next 200 people that use my code actually will have a plot right next to me. So we can have a reptile army king 
Kingdom in Scotland. That's right. And if you're looking for a last minute gift idea for the holidays, what better way to get established titles and become a lord or lady for someone special? And right now they are running in the same sale before Black Friday. And you can use my promo code Brian Barcheck and you can get even additional 10% off. Go to establishedtitles.com slash Brian Barcheck. Again, save 10% off already low prices. Brian Barcheck. Can I get a grande white hot chocolate, add cinnamon dolce? First thing I have to do is measure the inside to see how big I need to cut these panels. With this handy plastic cutter, I can actually scrape and score the line and then actually crack the acrylic to the size I need. I'm gonna get a little scrubby going, huh? Really bothers Noah that there's lines on here. Now we're gonna measure and cut the front panel. By nine, 14 by nine. What? Is it bad? I can definitely feel that it's wet. That's the least amount <laughs> right there. Oh, how did it get in my hairline like that? Am I going to Walmart like this? <laughs> I was at work. <laughs> what do you do for work? Carve pumpkins. Why is it so with funny? Your face. You carve pumpkins with your face. Oh, I got, I call dibs on this one. We'll take Mike this one. Yeah, that's a Mike. That's a Mike. A oh, Mike pumpkin. Watermelon. Beautiful day out. Got the viewing panel in the bottom, and now we have to cut the sides and back so that it's an actual enclosure. oblong so it won't stand up right because it's not a pumpkin it's a watermelon that's a watermelon it was in the pumpkin section oh god this stuff stinks it doesn't smell like pumpkin wow these have some big seeds too though Kobe. oopsies that's a wide angle look at that wow that's really harsh can we see your pumpkin? can we see your pumpkin? Pumpkin? Like a grubby mitt yeah the you're grubby mitt Yeah, mm. This back panel is the tough one because it's going to be a little trapezoidal. I just fit this in as best I can. Right now it looks really the good. The back is going to be a little bit out of whack. I've got to cut it perfect. Ooh, this <gasps> is so Guys! Oh my goodness, I've never seen someone cut a square. <laughs> Is that a unibrow? It's an eyebrow. Wait. <laughs> no, can I see your design? <laughs> Who's the inspiration, Noah? Oh, my. Oh. Are you ready to see my design, guys? Oh, wow. Oh. That's What's... interesting. You're really creative today. <laughs> Mike, let's see your uh, design I'm, here. I'm going to draw it right now, okay? So I'm thinking something dumb. Just doing one last thing just to give a little support to the bottom and I'll fill this actual crevice up right here. Now time for a little bit of bedding in there. Spread it out really nice. Next up we gotta have a light because of course every good jack-o-lantern has to have a really good light. It's gonna be, how do I mount this? Screw this on all the way in. Go on like that, and we have a light. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Gonna make the noise. This is gonna be so good. Mine looks so happy. It really could be a Veggie Tales. Like it's so cartoony. Are your hands, girls. Will you shove this pumpkin in my ear, please? Kind of like there you go. Is it in? You have. I think you have watermelon on your nose. On your nose? On my nose. Nose just red. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just thought it was a piece of watermelon. <laughs> Stop throwing stuff at my gourd. Where was that child at the birthday party that just starts throwing cake out of nowhere? Oh, stop putting that stuff inside of mine. Oh my god. We're gonna let this cure for just a little bit. Let's check on the boys. You're doing pretty good. Over I'm shocked. That one, that one turned out really She's good. On coming. Ooh, it's looking good. What? Wow, what? You don't think it looks bad? Look that looks good. I think I like the axe. Is that like to not talk? So All right, guys. Drop down in the comments which pumpkin's the best. Yeah. A. 
B, C, C or D. D. Just a couple more decorations, a little bit of water, the top goes on, this goes on, tarantula goes in. I tell you what, I think we have a pretty cool tarantula crib. Looks good so far, so let's go ahead, grab the tarantula, put it in here, put the light on it, and see how it looks. So I've got Zombie, the rose-haired tarantula in here. So let me just put her in here. She looks good, but what's gonna really be cool is putting the top on. Oh my gosh, that is so cool, guys. Let's show the crew. Where's the tarantula cage at? Oh my God, Dad, that's so that's good! Awesome. I gotta go get my brother. What do you think, Mike? That's awesome. <laughs> good job, Mr. Brian. Oh, look at this. Look at what Dad did. Whoa, that is cool. Bro. Oh my God, Dad, good job. Wow, <laughs> sick. I, is does the top open or no, is that gonna do don't something? Touch don't touch it. How do we keep this so we can preserve it for forever? Some things just don't last forever, like this vlog. If you guys enjoyed today's video, if you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one. Can I get a grande white hot chocolate at Cinnamon Dolce?